Hi, welcome back to the Keto Couple. We are uh, a half a couple today. Heather's actually out uh, with her girlfriend, hopefully drinking some keto-friendly uh, alcoholic beverages. Um, so she left me with no dinner. I got home, uh, it's a little late, at a late night at work. Um, trying to think what I haven't had in a while, what uh, kind of craving I need to feed today. And I thought to myself, I haven't had a pizza puff in forever. So actually, since I've been on the, the diet for almost four months now, I haven't had a keto uh, or a keto version or a pizza puff whatsoever. If you don't know what a pizza puff is, it's a phenomenal tasting piece of Chicago tradition. It was actually invented in Chicago by a company called the, the Illinois Tamale Company. They're also now they're known as Il Taco. Um, they still actually sell them frozen today. So we're going to make a pizza puff. Um, essentially, I'm going to make the, the sausage, the Italian sausage. I'll, I'll take you step by step of what we're doing. Um, just put the ingredients together and make some uh, some fat head dough and uh, cook it in some hot olive oil. And then hopefully we get a good pizza puff that'll help um, kind of curb that crave that I've had. All right, so wearing the Chicago Cub uh, insignia. Just uh, obviously uh, pay homage to our hometown here and uh, you know the, the the slice of heaven that is the Chicago pizza puff. All right, I promise I didn't get shorter than I already am. Um, so first things first, we're gonna, again, we're gonna make a pizza puff. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a deep fried flour tortilla um, filled with like tomato sauce, you know, pizza sauce, um, sausage, and mozzarella cheese. Um, there might be variations on that, but it is a deep fried mess of goodness. Um, so we're going to try to make it keto healthy. You know, we're going to use uh, a fathead dill, um, kind of based out of uh, almond flour. So um, first thing first, I'm going to cut the sausage out of the casing on this um, Italian sausage we got from Mariano. So yeah, so I'm going to cut the sausage out. All right, so before we continue, please uh, go down by the cute puppy and uh, subscribe to our channel. Give us a like and maybe hit that notification bell. It tells YouTube that we're delivering quality content and really helps our channel out. Um, so I'd appreciate that. My goal is to get more subscribers than, um, you know, Heather's losing weight and she's at, uh, you know, 25 pounds down now. So, uh, my, you know, my work's cut out for me. So next step anyways, is going to be cooking the sausage. I cut it out of the casing. Um, I'm going to basically cook it in olive oil. Um, and uh, go from there. I'm not a great cook. Um, and that's why Heather does most of the cooking as you see in the videos. But this is so easy that I can even do it. So um, hopefully I can muster up a badass pizza puff to eat because um, I've been waiting a long time for this. So basically I'm just going to cook this, um, you know, over medium heat, uh, you know, chop it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to season it with pepper, black pepper. I'm going to season it with oregano. I'm going to season it with basil. Um, basil, thyme, and oh, I put a little way too much thyme on there. Um, so I'm gonna put some thyme on there and some garlic powder, and then finish it up with salt. So just basic stuff. Just obviously chop this up and cook her. Well, all right. So I finished the Italian sausage. Managed not to burn myself or the house down. Um, I'm gonna put this off to the side. The ingredients that we need other than this are gonna be mozzarella cheese. It's already pre-grated. Um, and then I'm gonna get uh, the, the Rouse homemade pizza sauce. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is attempt to make the fat head dough. Um, so wish me luck. All right, so now I'm gonna start working on the fat head dough. First thing I'm gonna do is, um, I, I gathered all my ingredients. I got one egg, I've got some baking powder I'm gonna use a teaspoon of. I've got a little bit, like a heaping half cup of coconut flour. Uh, and then I've got five ounces of mozzarella cheese. Next thing I'm gonna do is heat this up for 30 seconds to soften it up, melt it a little bit, so that I can mix that in there um, with the mixer. All right, um, I'm truly lost in the kitchen without Heather. Uh, I don't know where the mixing stuff is. So no power tools for me today. I'm just gonna have to use old fashioned elbow grease. Don't tell her um, because she'll say I told you so. But uh, so what I'm what I'm gonna do now is mix egg with the melted mozzarella to start on this fat head dough and um, and then after that slowly uh, kind of mix in the dry ingredients. I'm just going to use a spoon to mix right now. Slowly I'm going to mix in the almond flour and then the, the half teaspoon of baking powder. 
All right, so I microwaved the dough just a little bit longer, get a little of that mozzarella melting a little bit more to make it easier to mix the ingredients. So right now I'm kneading the dough. You don't want to over knead, but uh, I'm gonna knead the dough. And then uh, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna roll it out. Now this parchment paper. I don't know where our roller is, so uh, you're gonna see me kind of uh, rig it up like this. That some people roll it under the parchment paper. It's like they'll have it in between these two parchment papers. I, I'm gonna wet it, so I don't really necessarily wanna do that. I'm gonna shape it too. I've washed my hands, but just kind of wet it down. Shape it, give it a little moisture here. Then I'm gonna just kind of cut it now just to shape it. I want it in like a square form. So I'm gonna just cut this up, make sure I can, uh, I'm gonna make two. And hopefully I can figure out how to wrap it here. Um, but so I'm gonna put, this stuff's gold. Rao's homemade uh, pizza sauce. You got two grams uh, of carbs for a quarter cup. So I'm going to put a quarter cup in this bowl. No, oh, this is gonna be the filling. So then I'm gonna mix that with about a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. So I used about a full cup of sausage. Obviously, you know, do it to your liking. If you, I'm gonna put them on here, like such. I'm gonna fold that over um, and then kind of crease them together. I'm gonna save enough so I have two. So I will fold this over now, almost like an empanada-ish type thing. I'm gonna fork this down. really helps when your fingers are wet too to kind of like adhere this together all right now i'm gonna cook it up all right so now we're gonna i'm just gonna cook it in olive oil i'm gonna put a generous amount on there i don't want to make it feel like it's you know the closest to being deep fried it possibly can be i'm gonna throw a little garlic on there garlic salt and pepper just on the dill to kind of create like almost like a little garlic crust because i'm all about the garlic crust when it comes to pizza all right all right, so I flipped it, a uh, little bit of brown. That's fine, it's not like burnt, it's just crispy. I want it crispy anyways, because those, um, the flour uh, tortillas that they use on these uh, pizza puffs out here, they are really crispy, kind of sucks in all the, it's so bad for you, because um, obviously I think they're using vegetable oil and obviously it's loaded with carbs, but it's so good. I used to eat two, uh, for lunch I used to eat two pizza puffs and a cheese fry um, and a Coke. I'm glad I survived and I'm here um, living a keto lifestyle. So hopefully uh, this works out and it gives me a, a nice little substitution for the bad pizza puffs that I, I used to eat. Now I'm gonna put on the garlic, a um, little bit of pepper. So it is done. I'm gonna give it a try. I mean, hopefully it is awesome. If it's not, you will not see this video. All right, so I took my first bite. It's good. Good option to have. Nice and quick, easy to make. Uh, I know it took me a little bit because it's my first time, but hopefully you guys try it out and you like it.